Welcome to my fish room. Okay, so we're going to title this one Shark Baby! Or Baby Shark? Anyhow, you've seen my other little banded cat shark. Well, this one here, if you look in here, I don't see no egg yolk left. So we're going to help him out, okay? So we get his uh, egg case out, keep it in the water so he's watered, and we get a handy dandy razor blade, and peering closely over the top of my glasses so I don't cut him, we're going to cut the top off of his egg case, just so he doesn't have to get out on his own. doesn't smell. Okay. And at the bottom. There he is. Now he'll stay like this for a day or two, and then uh, this way he doesn't have to fight his way out. But if you look, you can see how there's no more egg yolk left. Okay. Let's see if you can see better that way. But uh, yeah, he's been curled up so long that. Uh, He'll stay like this. He'll probably be straightened out tomorrow. Usually are. And we'll do a follow-up uh, the other section. And then just to take a look at our other baby. Air shark baby. This guy's uh, about uh, oh, a month ahead. month and a half ahead of this guy. Green camel shrimp there. Yeah, okay. There you see him. Alright, so that's Shark Baby. Baby Shark. It's a banded cat shark. And then in here, we have a spotted shark. Spotted. For some reason when I say spotted. Okay. An algae problem here. Okay. You can still see him. Where is he? Oh, there it is. See, these are my mangrove trees. And this is what a spotted shark looks like. And that's what bristle worms look like, too. It does things. In low numbers, they don't seem to cause much grief. And there's a serpent star. So obviously sharks don't eat serpent stars. Alright, so anyhow, that's Shark Baby.